Okay. Hey folks, I'm John, handyman for seniors.com. Uh gonna show you how to hang some uh this is wall fabric for the walls. And uh basically just a uh I'll show you in the video later, but it's just a fabric you gotta put on the wall. You're gonna use a liquid starch, you can get it at Walmart or online, probably at Amazon. And uh I'll show you how I do it, my own process. And uh, okay, cut your uh, cut your fabric to size. Give it a few extra inches because you gotta line up your. Uh, I overlap it a little bit so that I can see the exact pattern on top of the next piece. All right. So um, I use thumbtacks and also use this. Knock down. This is a rubber knife you can get at Depot or Lowe's. It's for actually popcorn when you do popcorn, but it works good on on the fabric to uh, help spread out the uh, starch. You can wear rubber gloves. I was before, but for this presentation, I'm going to uh, I'm not going to have gloves on. It's not a big deal. Uh, anyway, so the fabric is cut. Use a pair of scissors to cut your fabric and. Uh, I have a table over here, which I'll show you as soon as I'm done. And uh, just take your time. You know, it's 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 a little. It takes a little time, but once you do a couple pieces, you should have shouldn't have a problem doing it. So here's how I do it. I take my fabric. I take my thumbtacks. And I just put them up here for a second. Okay. I hold my fabric. And you cut it a little long so that you can make sure you have enough room to go up or down and so you don't waste a piece of fabric. Okay, so I just kind of get my fabric about where I want my seam. And I see, I see a good spot to line up. So I got a good spot. Just give it approximate. This is just, just to hold the piece while you operate. That's it. You get it there, you bring it over, you put another piece. This is just to hold it, just so you can operate. It's tough to do it. I've done it without doing the pins, but it's a little bit of a problem. Take your time, and uh, you can do it. Don't give up on it. Just, just try to stick with it, you know. And if you can't do it, then you call a professional like me. So. Bring this down a little bit, uh, but okay, just to kind of get it where you want it. Um, let me make sure my seam is going to be how I want it. Yeah, it's gonna line up good, so I feel good about that. Now, what I'm gonna do also is just, obviously this is the way you cut the piece. If you're gonna cut something before, make sure you know, you know, just give it room. So I'm gonna give it some room and I'm just gonna, plenty of room, plenty of room. You trim it again, it's a, it's just fabric. Don't try to be a hero and cut it exact right now because you don't even have the piece on. So don't, see, so just, you're doing this. Yeah. Getting it ready, cutting up. Okay, got plenty of room, a couple more inches. Just get this out of your way. Nothing crazy. Give yourself two, three, four inches. It's not gonna hurt you. Get that out of the way. Now, got plenty of room here, plenty of room there. Okay, now here's how, piece is up there. And, uh, Take, this is this is this is it. I got my liquid starch in my tray in a roller. Okay, and what I do first is I try to line up my seam. Now sometimes people put it underneath, which is fine. You could do that, but uh, sometimes I do that. But this I'm going to just do a little different because I try to get my seam started. Okay, so get my seam started. And be, I, I've dropped close, but if you get on the floor, it doesn't really hurt anything. It's just starch. It just turns to like a flaky material. 
So I just kind of get it approximate. Now this is just, that's it, little spot, just a, a little spot. Boom, a little, little area. Maybe I wear the glasses, maybe I don't. Sometimes I don't have to, but sit my clock here. Um, but take your time. If it's not coming out right, you can always pull it off. It's just liquid starch. Start over. So don't worry. Okay? I just kind of get my seam started. Just push it over a little bit. Just get it ready. You know, just a pro. You don't got to be 100%. Just as best you can do it. Okay? I just kind of get this little area. Just push it in, push it out. Okay? Now, what I do, okay, little area done. Okay, that's it. Now, I, you can use a level, you don't have to, you know, I, I, I kind of just, I, I do use a level sometimes, just I'm a little bit of a fanatic, but now, I just kind of come across here. Little baby steps, you just, it's okay. It's, it's okay just to take your time. Now, you can adjust this, you can move it. I just like to find a spot in your pattern and just see if you're about level. You know, could come down a little, just approximate. If you're not, if you're not level, you'll never see it. And you know, so I just kind of pull it down a little bit. I can feel it, I can see it. But, but you can't really tell if it's level or not. I just like to keep it in the area. So this is, this is in the area. So now I just push it over. Now you just have this one spot so you can adjust, feel, feel for, make sure the fabric isn't kinking up or, um, or you have a little bumps or something. Just, just be the, become the fabric, feel the fabric. Okay. You got a little area. Okay. You're done. This is it. Now I'm going to work my way up for this. Sometimes I change my mind, sometimes I don't. But on this, I'm going to work up a little bit. So, okay, I'm going to add a little more. Now, always work your seam first, okay? So you work your seam. I come back to my seam, put a little more starch, just roll it on. It's okay if it drips, it's not going to hurt anything. Get it on your fabric, not going to hurt anything. You roll, a little more. There's no rush to this, if you're going to rush, don't do it. Just go do something else, because you can't you can't rush this. You just you take your time and try to enjoy it. And when you line up your seam, just make it as best you can. Okay? Don't spend all day because when it all dries and it's if it's a this is a crazy pattern, so you're never gonna see or notice uh, any kind of problems. So now you, a little, another area, you got the seam, you're just going to push, you're just going to push. Push, not hard, just soft. Got another area, okay? You got another area. You feel, feel it. Okay, now work it over a little bit more. Okay, now I just leave that. I just come over, okay, a little bit of, a little bit more. Just gentle, don't, you know, just go easy. Go easy, got another little area. Liquid starch, that's all. You can re-wet it, okay? Okay, feel the piece, become the piece. Okay, now, okay. Everything's feeling good. Got another area. Everything's looking good. The seam is fine, it's feeling good. And in the beginning, the seams are gonna be wet. From a distance, you're like, oh, I can see the seam, but when it dries, you're not gonna see the seam unless you go back and unless someone starts, you know, walks right up to the piece and uh, and says, oh, I can see the seam. You can't see the seam, okay? If, if you wanna criticize, someone wants to criticize your work, they'll be like, but just do it the best you can, okay? Just the best you can, okay? So there you go. Now, I'm doing it and I'm, I'm a fanatic, so don't always just, I like to, but you don't have to be a fanatic and you don't got to be a professional to do this, but I am a professional and I am a fanatic, but you don't have to be, so you can do it yourself. And this is fabric, not wallpaper. Fabric makes it look rich looking. This is an old house. 
at 180 years old. So I want to do everything as if it was 180 years ago, but with the modern conveniences of today, you know. So, anyway, so now, a little more starch. Work your seam. Work the seam. Just let the seam be itself. Okay. And a little kink there, you don't worry about that. It's not. Okay. okay. Now I continue. I become, I work. The seam. The seam is becoming one. And you can adjust your top. Okay. I'm using my hands. Like I said, you can wear gloves, you can not wear gloves. It's not gonna hurt you. It's just starch. You know, obviously you don't wash it off, your fingers may be stuck like this for a few hours, but no. But that'll be all right. You just rinse it and it'll come right off. Um, okay, I feel the seam, it feels good. Everywhere that's wet, feel. That's where it's it's been applied. If you're unhappy with something, you can pull it off and start over. Not gonna, it's not gonna matter. Okay, now I'm gonna go up, finish my seam. Okay, a little more, you know, put fluid, you know, put a lot of starch on. It's not going to hurt nothing. It's not going to hurt nothing. I roll it on. Now, I disconnect my one, um, my one, and sometimes I do this. I just come a little behind with it, but, okay. You can, now I just disconnect this and I put back my thumbtack. You don't want tension on it after you get it in the, in the zone where you want it. Adjust your thumbtack just so you have room and it's not pulling. You don't want to pull it. Okay. Now, I am re-getting my seam perfect. And like I said, your seam doesn't have to be perfect. You may be new at this and you're just starting out and you're doing the best you can. And that's okay. As I said, you're not going to Try to get a pattern that seems up easy. Uh, the more the more design in the paper, actually the easier it is. Sometimes it's a little harder to seam it, but you don't notice it as much. So if that makes any sense to you people. Okay, and just do the best you can. Okay, now my seam is good. I step back, I look. I feel good. I feel good about this. I'm going to get this little spot. And basically, this is the process. Um, I use drop gloss, even though it's you don't have to. You don't have to, but I'm, as I said, I'm a professional and I'm a fanatic. So I, you know, not everybody is like that. Some people, you know, aren't like that. But I am. So I see. I want to pull this back a little. You can. It's not like. Crazy glue, you know. So now I want to feel this. Yes. Okay. Work the seam. I pull this down and just soft, not, not soft, but not hard. Just become. After a few pieces, this is the first piece. If this is your first time, don't get discouraged. Okay. My seam feels good. Okay. Okay, now, I feel good with this, feel good with that, okay, now everything's feeling good. You don't have to trim this yet, but if you do, if you wanted to trim it, you can use a sharp razor, I don't recommend razoring it until you're done, uh, so I just kind of get a little out of the way, it removes a little weight, and it's not, and like I said, this stuff comes off. Um, it's just starch, so no big deal. Okay, my seam feels good. I don't have any kinks in it. Okay, and just feel it. You got, you got a fair amount of working time. It's not like if it dries, it would trying to let it dry. You can rewet it so it'll reactivate. So that's fine too. This all feels good though. Okay, so I'm gonna now just work this area over here. And I'm going to just cut the corner a little bit. And even if you overcut something, don't worry about it. You can just blend it back in. So it doesn't really... You, you could like add a little piece in, you wouldn't even notice. But I'm just trying to 
get to my corner to where I feel good about it. And if you overcut, don't cry. Don't cry and don't worry. It'll be okay because you just push it right back down with the uh, with your starch. So never overcut and get upset and you're like, oh, I gotta pull the whole piece down. You don't. You can add a little piece. Just don't. Don't don't worry about that. Okay. Not the end of the world. Once you're done with the whole room, it's gonna look gorgeous. So don't worry about that. Don't don't concentrate on one little spot because that's how you get discouraged and you won't want to do no more. Now I work from I work from my seam out. Okay, so I wet a whole area. Fair amount of starch. Don't be shy. Okay, this is a little tension on it, so I bring it down. I just bring it down a little. I loosen it. Okay, now I got this area. This area is wet. Okay, this is expensive and fancy fabric, so I am making it perfect, but that's only because it's this is a very old house. You can get less expensive paper. Not paper, I'm sorry. You can get less expensive fabric. Uh, but this is fancy, fancy paper. Paper, not paper, fancy fabric. I'm sorry. When I say paper, I mean fabric. This is not wallpaper. I'm not a big fan of wallpaper. I like fabric because it's rich looking. Even if your house is just regular and you want, you put fabric on the walls, it, it's gonna feel good. It's gonna make you feel good, okay? It's gonna, you know, it's gonna make the room feel good. And when the room feels good, you're gonna feel good. Now I just do another little spot. Another, just go over another foot or so. Wet it, okay, wet it with the, uh, with the uh, liquid starch. And again, no rush, just be careful, take your time. Work it, work it towards where it's dry, but this side hasn't been touched yet. Okay, little tension, little tension. Remove, okay, lower your, uh, lower your thumbtack. They're just basic thumbtacks. And that's it. And then feel. Feel. I don't feel any, any kinking of the fabric. The fabric feels good. It feels right. It, it just feels lovely. Yeah, feels good. Always double check it. Can't hurt. Double, triple, quadruple. As many checks as it takes to. Now, when you finish this piece, which I'm going to do now, I'll show you. Uh, sometimes you can draw a line at the edge, like an inch past where the paper, where the uh, fabric, and, and then you can kind of just use your eye and try not to stretch it too much. It depends on the fabric you're using. So, I now am going to the end. Work the middle. Always work your middle. Work it down, work it over, okay? And then this you want to try to keep, doesn't have to be exactly straight, you know, as straight as you can. Just, just try to make it as best you can, okay? Now, I'm going to relieve this, a little tension, and just going to put it under there. Just going to push the pin in, push in the push pin, that's all. And a little more, you can't put too much, it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything, it's just liquid starch, and it's, okay, now I'm at the end. Now, as I said, try to keep this pretty, you know, as best you can, and like I said, you could, you could put a line, you could make a level line about an inch past, and as long as it's somewhere in that area, you'll be fine with that. And also, for, for some areas, if you can't get to with your liquid sauce, you could use a paintbrush and just take the liquid starch and brush it into these corners. Sometimes I do that also. Sometimes I don't. But try not to. Just make sure you have all the... And if, if you got to, like, push this over a little bit, you can. You can. You can add, you know, just, but try to 
just keep this as best you can. The next piece will overlap the seams, so there's, there's a little room for error, but always start with trying to do it perfect, and then, like I said, if you're not a professional and it's not going to come out perfect, just do the best you can. Nobody's just, you know, I don't think it's, uh, you're going to have a problem. So, basically that's it. I wait for everything to dry and then a sharp razor you can go around. But wait a whole day. Wait a day. And, uh, and basically that's it. And you can trim it up. Sharp razor, be careful. If you rip something, you can always add a little piece in and, and just push it in with a little starch on it. It's nothing to worry. So this is the fabric. You can... If you feel you didn't put enough on, you can also re-roll it. If you in half an hour, if you want to re-roll it and re-use re, uh, the uh, rubber knockdown knife, you can do it in an hour if you think. But it'll stick. It'll stay. Wash your hands or you wear gloves. I know with gloves, I just didn't wear them for this um, this demonstration. You have a rag nearby. Dry them off. And this is kind of how you do uh, fabric on the walls. Okay, everybody have a great day and thank you for uh, watching the video. And remember handymanforseniors.com. You guys have a fantastic day. Actually, you guys, girls, everybody have a fantastic day, whoever it is. Not just one, everybody.